Hello, this is Dear Krieger, and this is Minecraft. I'm playing the Yogg's Cast Complete Pack. I'm running it on Ubuntu 15.10 on my Lenovo Y50. I started creating a new world. Of course, I put in these big badass trees here. Uh, this building right here was my first building. I wanted to build a mountain villa. I thought, you know, let's build a mountain villa and see how it turns out. Uh, and it was cool, you know. I spent a while on it. I have a little uh, movie theater here. And it's been fun. I haven't seen one movie in it yet. Uh, down here I have my wonderful swimming pool. Which is a wonderful view down here with everything else. <clears throat> and then I just uh, kind of built everything similar. It was uh, from top to bottom, except for the carpet. It, it turned out all right. I like the lighting system up there. But it just wasn't enough for me. And I decided to keep building up into here, into the clouds. And I built this little pad here so I could overlook everything. It's kind of a cloudy day here in Minecraft. It's usually not that cloudy. Uh, you know, and I kind of wrapped it around here a little bit. Just to bring it through here. This was all pre-existing caves. And then I came up here and thought, hey, why don't I build like a little little glass house up here? I might I might rip the floor out and put some dirt in here and make a, a little uh, garden or something in here. Got a little glitch on here. I don't know why. It's every these little carpenter's blocks make things kind of funky. But I love them. The texture is great. You know, you can do that to your walls and stuff. So then when I got bored with this, I decided I was going to build a farm. So I built these little paddocks to hold my animals. And then thought, you know what? I, I need a barn. So then I built this barn. Because uh, I was actually watching the Yogg's cast. And they built a barn almost similar t to this. Well, actually I built mine similar to theirs. Except I add a little more stuff in here and did everything and came back here and I finished it off. You know, I don't like seeing wires and tubes and pipes and shit. I like everything perfect. And then it just kind of worked its way over here and I wanted my smeltery out here. And this building right here actually was a pre-existing structure. It was one of those ones that the uh, witches hang around and they got their little uh, thing here. I spruced up my uh, nether portal. So I just made it higher, put a roof on it, different blocks, made it look kind of neat, you know. Made the roof look cool. I like my smeltery, it's nice. I can do a lot of stuff there. Got my miner right here. Got my little uh, twilight portal. And then I, there was a tunnel already here and I decided, you know, let's make it look nice down in there. So then I came over here and I decided, you know, I need power and I need a lot of power for what I got. So I uh, built a bunch of these, which are fairly simple to make. And I brought the cable clear down in this building which has my nuclear reactor. That line comes straight down and then it connects into my uh, reactor. At least I think it is. Everything's running. I can't remember how many... Uh, yeah, just six. What the hell? I got a tree coming in my building here. I have to clean that up. Anyway, got a glass floor here so I could see down in my that canyon. That crevice. 
And I got my magical crops, which are uh, fun. I love doing crops, all sorts of magical crops. That's my thing. And then I built this. I seen a guy build this on uh, YouTube, and I thought, you know what? Why don't I do the same damn thing? So I did. And I got all my magical crap over here. and Except this. This isn't magical, of course. But then I thought, you know, I've got this barn and all this crap here. Why don't I build a house? So I decided I'll build my house here and make it look nice and put in a nice little uh, fireplace. It gets cold out at night here. And if you're wondering how I get up to that mountain villa from here, there's a tunnel right over here that takes me straight up, and I can go straight up. Now, once I got done with this, I decided to put in those big redwood trees, and then I got really bored. So I decided to build a high-rise building. A couple of them. And I got my little uh, kitchen here, got microwaves, got a sink, got my bin, my cookie jars. Oh my god, it's going to rain. Well, for God's sakes, oh, there it goes. You know, you got your little tables, people can hang out. And then I got a little uh, building here. The only thing that's not structurally uh, typical here is there should be some columns coming down inside the building. I have an elevator right here. And it comes out in this nice little glass room with glass roof. And you can come out here and check things out. I'm a union iron worker, so I actually work on high-rise buildings. So uh, I try to I try to stay true to my my job, but sometimes having columns in the middle of your building is just a pain in the ass. I put a big fish tank in here. I'm gonna see what I can do about that. I have a little uh, balcony up there. I built a stair tower off the ass end of this building, and you can take a stair tower that goes straight up. But I don't need a stair tower because I'm going to come up here. I put a little coral in here and it started growing. It went nuts. So uh, I thought about tearing this all apart, but I might just leave it. I may never even come in this building again. I just built this to have something to look at. And after I got done with this area, I got bored again. And I decided let's build a nuclear reactor another one so I built this building here this dome and I uh, used carpenters blocks and I retextured everything and I put uh, airlocks on both sides of it and I think it turned out pretty damn fantastic and then when I come inside of it it just it turned out wonderful putting in all those carpenter's blocks and redoing everything and it just turned out beautiful. It looks kind of space age. I'm going to end up knocking this whole floor out and I'm going to sink it and I'm probably going to build a really big nuclear reactor. I don't know how many how many rods I'm going to put in it. Maybe I don't know. I've never I'll have to count it out, but it'll be pretty large and I'm going to have the uh everything sunk down and this will be flush and you know, I want it to be somewhat realistic as far as a nuclear reactor goes, because this would be a containment containment uh, roof in case it blew up. But uh, they don't blow up in this. But anyway, I really love this dome. It's just kick ass. So once I'm done with this, I don't know what I'll do. I'm thinking about building another... Uh, building out from here and connecting it over to where that swimming pool is over here. You know. 
and then people could come from this building that I'd make out here into here. But I, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Here's that stair tower right here, as you can see. Got a glass window inside the stair tower, and I uh, textured all that. Everything's completely textured, glass, used the carpenter's blocks on everything, really makes everything pop. Put lighting in here, and there is a way to get up here from the roof on the other floors. I didn't uh, do that there, but I didn't need to. Pull these walls down, put carpenter's blocks there. And I made the little waterfall through here. I thought it'd be pretty cool. But no, I think probably the the funnest thing I've got is probably that dome and this barn. I think these are my two favorite favorite uh, buildings on this uh, map. But we'll see. I'm going to keep adding to it and adding to it and see where it goes. But uh, anyway... If anybody has any ideas, leave a comment. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it short here, and I'll see you guys on the next big one. Over and out.